stuck in Frankfurt because our original train to Hamburg just like got cancelled or whatever. So we're just sitting here eating cucumbers and just like vibing at like 2 a.m. Um, we're just gonna try to catch another train to Berlin first at like 2.49 and then connect from there to Hamburg and then to Copenhagen and hopefully we'll get there by s at some point <laughs> at 4 p.m. tomorrow. So.
Okay, so quick story time because I forgot to vlog what happened. But basically, there's this dude who was pretty nice at first. He said he worked for, like, the United Nations and he was just here by himself and didn't have any friends. So he, like, sat down next to us and just, like, chatted for a little bit. And then he was, like, perfectly fine. And then he was, like, trying to, like, get the, all the dudes at our table to leave and, like, go buy a drink or, like, go dance or something. So then only the girls would be at the table. And we were, like, uh, nah. So basically, he kind of just, like, stopped talking to him. And he just, like, sat there next to us for, like, two hours without saying a single word and just like looking at us and like randomly touching like me or like one of the other girls and then basically we were like okay we're done with this guy so we got up and like went somewhere else and he just like followed us like across like the entire bar and then was just like trying to insert himself into the group even though we were forming like a tight circle just to like avoid him like coming in and then basically like every time we would like make him leave he would like always come back and he would just like get, get more and more like drunk as the night went on and then finally after like three hours this dude he just like started going through our jackets and our pockets um looking through the pockets since we left our jackets like on the side of the bar and then basically he was just going through all our stuff and then like acting super confused and he was like no no this is like my jacket and that was definitely not his jacket like he literally had no jacket when he came in to begin with so basically we were like all right we're leaving and we hope that he didn't follow us but he just like sat there by himself afterwards kind of just dazed it was like a very strange interaction